This video is going to change how you optimize and build a website to make money online. If you're an agency owner, pay attention. If you have your own website, you got to pay attention to this one. So we have a humongous workflow here and it's working right now. So we're going to go over what it does and it looks complicated, but look, these always look complicated at first glance, but all we care about is how can we make money with this thing? And inherently with N8N workflows with these systems, it saves us time. And the output is all about what? It's about getting data that we can use. So what we're going to do is automate keyword research. We're going to automate clustering and content ideas in minutes. And here's what I want. I want some quick wins, right? I want to be an authority builder on the website. So show me competitive but valuable topics. Because if you have a website, you cannot only go after the low-hanging fruit. You have to talk about competitive stuff too. Otherwise, you're not the authority, right? We're going to talk about immersion topics, intent signaling, and then semantic topics. I love it, right? There's so much this tool can do. And look, you can see it kind of buzzing around working as I speak. Each thing I type in here, you're going to see Google Sheets. So sometimes this takes a second to load. Do you see this? Everything we work on with these type of N8N workflows are based on Google Sheets. And the reason we do this is because at the Rank Expand Academy, if I come over here, we have the classroom. So you can join this. I invite you to join this, the resource library. And we're gonna scroll down to all these N8N workflows. Do you see all of these? We always use similar tactics with these workflows because we want it to be easy for you. When you join the community, you can download these and we're using Google Sheets. We're using things that are similar each time. So this right here, we're going to go over how to use it, why we should use it, and the results to make you more money than ever. Now, off the bat, I want to show you what we are going to do. We are going to handle a lot of data, a lot of data. The people who win online are those who can handle a lot of data, right? They take good data, they make good decisions. It's always been the case, and this gives us tons of good data. So we have four primary tabs here. We have keyword data. We have content ideas, we have keyword clustering, and we have content hub ideas. So if you've ever heard of the hub and spoke methodology of creating content, well, this is going to show you, you know, exactly how to build it out for any given keyword. Pretty cool. So off the bat, we did two queries. Do you see it up here? All you have to do is type in your keyword, make money online, or for the second one, which I'm more excited about, is roof repair Dallas, Texas. Now, before I get into the results, I want to show you how this starts in the beginning. So like I said, we use Google Sheets because it's just what we use instead of Airtable. And then we come over here. So this is the data for SEO data collection. So we use the APIs off of this tool, this service rather, data for SEO. And this pulls in real world data, like usable good data. You think of tools like SEMrush and Ahrefs. Well, this uses similar data. And you can see over here, what we input was roof repair Dallas, Texas, right? The location was the US. You could do any location. The language is English, et cetera, et cetera. And then what it returns is tons of information over here. So it's going to give us keyword volume, so search volumes. And then it's going to give us similar keywords, like related keywords too. If I scroll down here, you're going to see, for instance, do you see this right here? Keyword Dallas roofing company, et cetera, et cetera. It gives us the competition, the uh, CPC, right? The cost per click if you're to do Google Ads, the search volume, which is 2,900 for Dallas Roof Company. That's a lot. And the low top of page bid, the high, all these things. So it gives us, you know, we give it the primary keyword and then it's going to parse out tons of keywords we should consider when building our website. Now, one of the things I'm most excited about is this right here. So I showed you this earlier, but I think it's pretty darn important. Every N8N workflow we have in the Rank Expand Academy works on a similar manner. In other words, we're building a tool stack that if you learn one, right? If you learn one, you have access to all of them. You don't have to like reinvent the wheel. We don't, we don't overstimulate and like burden you with like 20,000 different things you have to learn. We build upon each other. So each one builds upon each other. It starts with this one right here. So we call this the AI SEO Assistant. So basically you can chat with your keyword data so when you join the academy, we teach you how to build this simple one and then everything builds from there. But back to this one here, this may be one of the more complicated ones in terms of steps, but the output, you know, it's just more data. I don't think it's more complicated per se. It's definitely not one of the simplest workflows and systems we have, but it's just a lot of data, right? So this is what happens. We input the keyword over here. It goes to data for SEO to get all that keyword data and related keywords. Do you see here? It's going to split out related keywords. So it's going to split out 15 of them. 
And then it's going to push it to what? It's going to push it to up here, number one, 3.1 is categorize the keywords. So this is cool because it uses GPT. And I love using GPT when we give ChatGPT real world data, real good data, it doesn't hallucinate and it can give us good recommendations. So this one here, it says you are an AI agent specialized in analyzing and categorizing SEO keywords and search intent signals. Your goal is to classify each keyword into strategic content opportunity categories that align with search intent, difficulty, and growth potential. So that right there, you know, that's that's the key. And I'll scroll down slowly so you can see everything, right? Pretty interesting. But the point here is we're going to emulate exactly what SEOs, what I have done, what people like me have done for years and years and years. Now we have tools to do it for us. Now, what we're going to do is dive into the data. There's a few ways you could do this. You could copy and paste this into GBT and ask it questions, which is cool, right? And you could even build a workflow on top of the N and N system I just gave you and do that yourself and make it automated. But what I think this is best for, it's, it's, it's really good for just sitting here for a second and learning what the heck should I do? So let's look at row 32. So your keyword is roof repair Dallas, Texas, and this is going to be the same for all of them, right? Because that's what we typed in. And then here's the supplementary keyword, right? Dallas Roofing Company. And here you go. Here's a quick win. So it's saying here's a quick win we can do. And we talked about this one earlier. The high search volume 2900 and low keyword difficulty 9 fit quick wins criteria for fast ranking. So right here, this column, column D, is going to give the reasoning behind the system. ChatGPT is going to look at the data and give you some reasoning. So if you're an agency owner and you want to train your team on how to interact with the clients, well, this gives you things that they can talk about intelligently just off the bat, right? Very cool. So all of a sudden we know this keyword's important and there's tons of keywords to consider such as priority roofing, BVB. Well, that's branded, probably not that good, but top 10 roofing companies in Texas. The search volume is 50 here. You have real world data, very, very powerful. And then we come over to the next tab, which is content ideas. So yet again, this is the keyword over here that we typed in, roof repair Dallas, Texas. And here's the specific you know, keyword we were talking about previously, this one right here, Dallas Roofing Company, quick win yet again. And here's the title, top Dallas Roofing Company for fast, reliable service, right? It gives us a recommendation on what to write, like actual blog articles based upon good data, right? And then I like this, it, get, it keeps getting better to me. Um, so right here, row 32, the cluster name is right here. So column B is going to be quote unquote, the cluster name. So although we only did one query, we only used the system once with the keyword roof repair Dallas, Texas, you can use it over and over again. And this tool will show you, okay, this cluster right here, right, has to do with what roof and service providers and their evaluations in Dallas and uh, Texas area. Okay, cool. And the keyword here is Dallas Roofing Company. And here's all the keywords to consider. But then we get here. All right. So row 20 is really cool. It's going to give us the title of the content. So the title of the content is top roofing companies and roof repair in Dallas, Texas. And the description of what you're going to write about is a guide that explores the top roofing companies serving Dallas, right? And it's going to go on and on. It's going to give you ideas on how to build your website. This is a local business website. Right, you can do this with e-com, you can do it with a blog, you can do it with a niche website, it doesn't matter. You're gonna go through here, column C, right? And if I blow this up, you're gonna see how this is powerful. Do you see here, column C right here, if I highlighted it. Some of these would cannibalize each other, so I'd be very careful, right? Top roofing companies, best roofing companies, reviews and rankings, roof repair services in Dallas, Texas, commercial roofing, customer reviews, um, et cetera, navigating Dallas roofing companies. There is tons you can do. So with a click of the button, it's going to give you all these ideas based upon data that you can sort through and figure out, ooh, I never thought of that. I should build a blog article or a page off of that. And then that gives you a competitive edge. So instead of using these expensive tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush, which still have their place, you can use these type of workflows. And that's what we do in the academy for pennies on the dollar. Every time I run this, it's not going to be expensive. And I get real world data. I get good SEO data, right? And there's tons, like I said before, there's tons of workflows you can use. Each one has a separate purpose. In the community, we have our weekly community calls. Each one is recorded. This is one of the fastest growing school communities on the platform. Hundreds of people are here. So come join us. We work as a team to, to figure out how to make money with AI ASAP.